Hello there, I'm Lindsay Malone and welcome to another edition of Santa Barbara Newswire, which will give you, the viewer, a healthy dose of local and world current events, as well as satisfy that fix in all that is pop culture. Investigators have discovered that there is a vast amount of pharmaceuticals, such as antibiotics, anticonvulsants, mood stabilizers, and sex hormones found in our drinking water supplies. Utilities are insisting that their water supplies are safe because the concentration of these pharmaceuticals is so low. But the very existence of prescription drugs in our water supply is heightening some scientists' concerns for the long-term consequences that this may have on our future health. Another consequence in question is the cost for the two wars. Although the cost of human lives is dwindling, the price of debts for the United States is exponential. Studies forecast that the Iraq war will total $12 billion a month during the year 2008. If I had that kind of money, I'd have one incredible wardrobe. But that's besides the point. The Congressional Budgets Office sure has been doing its homework estimating a cumulative forecast that by the year 2017, the cost of the two wars will total 1.2 to 1.7 trillion dollars, where Iraq accounts for three-fourths of that cost. Interests are also another major concern for the war and can add another 816 billion dollars to the total. Well, that's all for today. Remember to catch new updates of Santa Barbara Newswire every Friday right here on Channel 21. I'm Lindsay Malone, and you stay classy, Santa Barbara.